position, I will not tell you who to vote for or how to vote for. But as a leader of a civil rights organization, I will denounce proposals that go against our American values. In the past months, we have been bombarded with the rhetoric of hate and division in speeches from politicians, in gatherings. We have seen and witnessed months of endless uh, hate-filled speeches against our immigrant sisters and brothers. And let me tell you, enough is enough. We are all immigrants. All of us are immigrants. And we have to put an end to what we're hearing on the news and in the streets. Today, we have to start making some choices. Democracy. It's our guaranteed right to choose how we want to live our lives and the type of country we want to live in. And I ask all of you today to make a commitment that come June and November, we are exercising that right. We are going to choose a different path. We're going to choose one in which we have candidates who support immigrant workers and workers, period. We have to start taking back what is ours. So, my name is Maribel Nunez with California Partnership, and I'm also part of the Alien Coalition for Making Justice. So, very excited to be here. We took this May Day that was non existent, and we took it as International Labor Day for Immigrant Day. And those two, those two issues come together. We're talking about 5 for 15 and immigration reform. We also believe that health care for everyone is a right, regardless of immigration status. We believe that access to health care is an immigrant rights issue and a human rights issue. Now, last year we got Health for All Kids to pass, and really please let's send a message loud and clear that we got to enroll every undocumented child to Medi-Cal that qualifies, and really show that there's a great need, because that's the way the governor is saying to us, if we don't see a lot of people enrolling in these programs, we're not going to expand it to undocumented adults. And we don't want to send that message, right? We're trying to fight this year to expand Medi-Cal for undocumented adults. They keep always telling us that there's no money. They always keep saying that there's no money. And I don't believe that. Because if we didn't have any money, would they have more money for jails? Because that's what the governor comes out proposing. $250 million going into jail construction. So I don't buy it. That's what we need to get to fund health for all the kids. So we know that the criminal justice fights, immigrant rights just is all connected here together. And that's why we gotta come together and say, we're gonna prioritize health care for everyone. These programs are our programs. It's through our tax dollars. And so when they say that, you know, they don't have the money or they don't have anything, well, I do wanna really remind them that our communities, our immigrant communities, contribute heavily into the economy. And so these are our programs. According to the um, to a study, in 2012, $3.2 billion undocumented immigrants contribute through state and local taxes. $3.2 billion. And if we get immigration reform to pass, we're looking at about another $500 million in just in California alone. So I don't want to hear that there's no money for our program. I don't want to hear that. As we are here today, I want to extend an invitation. Friday, May 13, outside of San Bernardino City Hall, around 11 or 12, we're going to be hearing the governor, what he's going to be proposing on his budget proposal. And so I'm joy, you know, we work with various coalition partners. So Friday, May 13, please join us once again so that we can continue pressuring the governor and the state representatives to vote for Health for All and implement Health for All Kids. So please join me in that effort.
ganó el, la batalla para los 15 dólares. Gracias a todos ustedes, porque fue una batalla que llegó hasta el pueblo, porque cuando el pueblo habla, todos tienen que escuchar. Y ustedes lo lograron. Gracias. Es tan importante, pero tan importante, que mantengamos las familias unidas. Ya estamos cansados de que se paren nuestras familias. No solamente porque son inmigrantes, porque todos venimos de familias inmigrantes. Mis papás son de Jalisco. Necesitamos una reforma migratoria que incluye la protección de todas nuestras familias. I thank SEIU because because of you, we won the fight for 15. Congratulations! Yeah. The fight for immigration reform is so important because it has to do with dignity. It has to do with never separating our families. Because when you separate one of the families, you are separating the entire community. And that is wrong. We deserve to have our communities and our families together. No more of these separations. Let's work hard. I do have my word that I will work with you as I have my entire life. This is important. And I thank you, Emilio, for giving me this opportunity. Gracias a todos ustedes. Gracias, José, por todo lo que hace. Gracias.